Hey, hi everybody, my name is Marius and once again um, I would like to welcome you to our ABC of networking community. As you can see, whoop whoop, we got a new logo. How awesome is that? Yep, yeah, uh, you might have seen us in some of the other videos already. But yeah, so as you can also see, our, our channel is growing really fast. We have a bunch of videos going out there, uh, lots of contributors to the video uh, streams um, on all different types of topics. The one thing that I thought about, you know, over the uh, holidays that I had recently, um, I really thought about what we can do next to evolve, you know, this, this site. And I decided, well, it's really interesting the stuff we are doing. If you look at the videos, it's for the high-end engineer, you know, in most cases, uh, the guys to get in there and they already understand the SDN part of things. And they, you know, they're into that type of uh, talking. But what about another audience, you know, people who might want to basically join from scratch? And just to have a little bit of understanding and looking at the logo ABC of networking yeah, it almost says well that's the beginning of networking I also do a lot of presentations uh, some of you might have seen uh, I go around to different venues and I do presentations on networking and I go really high end and really low end whatever the case may be when I say low end we try and do sometimes you know to companies and different places uh, introduction type networking uh, presentations and it's always apparent that it's not just an entry-level engineer that comes up to me, but sometimes really highly skilled engineers come back to me and say, oh, geez, you know, I never got that or I never saw that before. I never thought about it this way. Um, and then it's quite apparent to me that, you know, so sometimes people have maybe missed the basics of networking. You know, that yes, definitely there's some rules to the networking industry and the basics of networking. And I think we... We, we are sometimes a little bit driven just to do exams, you know, and so what I've seen is, and you'll see me go through this, you know, when I go through these videos, is I don't really care about an exam, to be honest with you, okay? Exams mean absolutely nothing to me. If you want to pass exams, yeah, maybe there's some better ways and better time. You can spend your time somewhere else, maybe more uh, relevant, you know, just to pass exams. However, I'll give you an example. I sat with a customer not too long ago. That's a big financial customer. They've got about 140,000 lines of code in their CLI, serious data center router. Um, they were really struggling on uh, failover times. There, there's some issues with failover when the primary router fails, the secondary router doesn't kick in. You know, so they weren't quite exactly sure what was going on and they were troubleshooting this for a couple of days. And as you can imagine, you know, life wasn't good at that specific time for these engineers. Uh, of course, I decided to try and go and see if I could help them out, you know, from a fresh point of view and they wanted to start telling me exactly what was wrong i decided not to get into the story as much you know to be tainted uh, because they most probably would tell me what they think is wrong and i thought no you know just let's stop the conversation right there which we did i sat back and decided to start pinging the network okay so we did some basic pings ping 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 and we we spoke about the expected results what we expected to happen and they were happening as soon as the primary router was up and running everything was working well we then switched off the primary router and we then said okay what do we expect before we ping and we spoke about it and we pinged and nothing happened yeah um, after looking at it a little bit uh, we decided well you know if you want to ping something um, there's got to be an IP address for it yeah display interface brief we did a display of the interfaces and interfaces came up and we saw, oh, there's an IP address. So if there's an IP address, there must be something in the routing table, yeah? So how do we get routes into the routing table? Well, in that case, it was a static route that they used for management purposes. And of course, when we did an actual display IP route for that static specific route, nothing in the routing table. Well, what's wrong there? Well, the basics of networking is you should have the capability, if you set up a static route, you need to know that the other side is available before it will put that route into your routing table yeah so we went and checked and guess what uh, within about 15 to 20 minutes we figured out that somebody went and removed the static route for the management interface right on that specific router sometime before and they discovered it when they actually had a failover scenario good so and these guys are really and i'll tell you these guys are skilled engineers it's not that they did anything wrong but because we get so complicated in networking people tend to step back right or really step into the complicated part first they were troubleshooting bgp failover and i don't know what everything right it became quite a complex environment so this is the reason for the abc of networking community my like i said my primary goal here is not to get you to pass exams okay if you want to pass exams i may be the wrong guy to help you do that um there's some good sites for that so this is more about the logic of networking 
The one thing I've realized, and I've been around for a couple of years for the guys who know me, I've been around for a couple of years and, and very few people seem to figure out the logical side of the network, right? They all want to be, okay, this interface is connected to that interface with IP addressing, and, but they never get the logical network, right? And as we go through these networking uh, uh, videos, by the way, I have no idea if this is video one of two or one of 20 or one of 200. Okay, so I'll just keep on going. I'll put a good description down. If you find this boring, brilliant. Um, it's good for you because then you obviously moved into the next level. Uh, if you find this helpful, please watch our videos, you know, and I'll try and cover as many aspects as I can. How I'm gonna approach this is very simple. I'm gonna approach it from a point of view that you have a couple of engineers a couple of years ago in the 60s, and they look at the concept of what is networking. Okay, networking, taking a PC or a device connecting to another device, right? And once you connect those two devices, how do we connect them? So looking at the basics, and what I wanna try and drive towards is you'll see at least my experience with this journey was that at least it looks like a story being told. That's the way I see networking, is in the beginning, there was two devices, they connected them together, and then they had some issues, challenges. They solved those challenges, right? And as they solve those challenges, things start to work. Um, and you'll see, I keep on, I'll, I mean, I always talk about this, is if things work well in networking, what do we do? We abuse it until it breaks. We add to it so much that it starts to break. Okay, and this is, you'll see every single time they started with something, they would actually, uh, abuse it, no, I wouldn't say abuse it, they would use it properly, right to a point where things started going wrong, it introduced a fault, and you could see these guys think about it, or girls, or most probably guys or in those days, they would think about this and solve the problem, right? And as they solved the problem, right, they would come up with a protocol, set of rules. And the one thing I will spend a lot of time on, my dad used to tell me, Marius, if you want to play the game, know the rules, yeah? If you want to go and actually do something, understand the concept behind it, what do you need to know about that? All right. So if uh, you want to play the networking game, understand the rules of networking. Yeah, there's some definite rules in networking, all right, that we have to do. Um, so that's what I want to try and drive towards. The Aussie model is my Bible, all right, inside the actual networking industry. That Aussie model pretty much drives all behavior of troubleshooting. How do you start to troubleshoot? If you don't have physical connectivity, then surely why are you trying to see whether you've got logical connectivity if you don't even have physical yet? You know, So there's a very logical way of doing this. And so I'll be spending a lot of time with the uh, Aussie model. Um, in the days when I did my training for that, uh, it was two days of solid training just on Aussie model. I see these days, uh, it's a couple of exam questions on the internet. Just understand what is a fragment bit and a byte and whatever. And just get to know the exam question, pass this, pass it off, forget about Aussie model and go on with networking. Uh, you might be struggling, you know, understanding the logic behind networking. You might be uh, struggling by saying, why am I enabling OSPF multipoint, point to point? Right, what's the difference behaviors between the two? Um, if you actually haven't done it and you don't understand the logic behind that. And that's what I'm hoping I can bring to this uh, uh, industry, uh, to, to, to the community. So guys, take it at face value. Um, the way I do business, uh, typically on these videos, uh, if you've seen a couple of my videos, I use CLI and whiteboards. I'm from an instructional back point, uh, ba backdrop. I used to be an instructor. Um, and this was my biggest, biggest friend was whiteboard. Okay, logically, if you understand the picture, right, how the packet should flow, then configuring is really simple. Right, there's a couple of rules to configuring, but first you have to understand what the concept of the actual protocol is doing. You need to understand logically what's going to happen, and then we enable it. All right, the, the configuration side is really the last bit. Um, that shouldn't be the first bit, and then trying to figure out why it worked. Okay, so I'm hoping you can stick around for a couple of videos, and uh, yeah, please let us know if there's a specific topic that you want us to talk on. Um, I can always jump into that. But you'll see as I go for the next couple of videos, I want to start with a network. What is a network? How does it work? I'm going to go into the Aussie model a little bit. You know, how does the Aussie work? And I say a little bit, I want to go into the logic of the Aussie. Uh, I'm going to actually start looking at the different layers of the Aussie model. And like I said, I'm going to bring logic, not exam questions to this. So I hope you find this interesting and I hope you have a good time watching these videos. And uh, if you find it interesting, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.